Hello and welcome back to the 3 by Mice Media channel where today we have an unpacking of things. <laughs> yes, we're always saying we're being lent these cars by Starter Motor, which we're ambassadors for, and we're always saying that you can too, but I think people are a bit apprehensive. They don't. They think that sounds a bit too good we to We just turn true. up on camera with the keys and then they go, see, it was that easy, but yeah. it kind of is. So today we have someone who's borrowing the car. Uh, she's 19 years old and her name is Tiggy, and we will be showing the process from the beginning to the end of how she picks up the car, what she does with the car, learning how to drive it, the whole lot, so you can see what it might be like for you. Yes, and it's Starter Motors big 1960s Jaguar S type, so it's going to be a fun driving lesson. Aye. Right. Indeed. Let's get on with it. <laughs> okay, we're in front of the car and we're going to have our lesson. I'm um, introducing. Tiggy! Hello. <laughs> Tiggy. Yes. Oh, are you excited to borrow? I'm so excited, so excited. It's yeah. fantastic. And we also have the beloved Mr. Withers of Startsman. <laughs> oh, that's so kind. <laughs> yeah. So many people love me. We do. We yeah. do. We do. Right. I like we to tell you. people that. Absolutely, Absolutely. we love you. Well, our subject today. Yes, yeah, so our subject today is Tiggy Jaguar S-Type from 1967. It's got a 3.4 litre engine. You can tell that because on this little bit here it says 3.4. And it's got six cylinders, two carburetors. Uh, it's very like a modern car. It's got doors <laughs> and seats. Yeah. Uh, and now I'm going to show you all the other things which aren't like a modern car. So, but, so if you want to have a little sit in there, yeah. it's a bit like getting into a drawing room. If, if you find that door hasn't closed fully, it's rattling about, it isn't now, it is closed fully, you can just yeah. literally give it a little tug, that's it, and that and it'll close it and just click it. Okay, so, oh gosh, I feel like I'm learning to drive again. Yeah, Completely. clutch fully in. Yeah, it feels quite... Yeah, up that's there. first, handbrake off. Handbrake off, is that Yeah, one? yeah. And then... No, the handbrake's not quite off, but the light's still on, so oh, right the way right down. The way there we go. And then... Yeah, and then a bit of revs. Ooh, Probably not, not quite that much. Yeah. Yeah. And then off you go, yeah. Set so the clutch up. Yeah. All the way up. Yeah. Clutch right to the top then and then off oh, we okay. go. Uh, didn't even stall. No. <laughs> I can feel uh -huh. it going. Second gear. Here we are. And then just step for this oh, this gosh. this time round. Yeah, just everything progressive. A bit more revs, yeah. yeah. So as you're coming up, give yourself a bit more. We'll just stay in second all the way through. Yeah. We'll do a few loops now. Quick, what's going on? What's happening? What's happening? Go this way because the wind is being horrendous. Uh, what's happening is she's having her first driving lesson as such and she's actually now driving it. Um, good thing about the Jag is it's not a million miles away from our everyday cars. You know, it's a manual and obviously at the time it was quite an expensive car, so it's well engineered. Uh, so she seems to be getting to grips, as we can see. Should we stick a thumb out, see if she'll pick us up? Aye, please. Look at that. Jump in. Excellent service. Okay. Right. We've let you have some practice. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah, now, now we're going. Now passengers. Yeah. There we go. Look, Look at that. That was smoother than the first yeah. time. Yeah, it's quite it's a good place to be, isn't it's it? It's actually really comfortable as well. It's so comfortable. The seat's just like marshmallows. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Where are we? What are we doing? We're back at Vista Heritage today because Tiggy has dropped the Jaguar off and she's very sad about it. Yeah. She's here now Hello. and she's going to tell us, obviously we didn't follow her around for the entire weekend. So, <laughs> so she's going to tell us what she got up to. What did you get up to? Where did you go? Who did you take? Mainly driving a lot of friends about. Yeah, so yeah. neighbours who came, as soon as it was on the driveway I had loads of my neighbours come out and be like, how have you got this car? And I was like, 
starter motor charity. Um, <laughs> Bit of plugging. Yeah, <laughs> always. But uh, driving a lot of neighbours and friends about just locally on very scenic roads. Which... I mean, yeah, I mean, just fair enough. It's one of those things where you can't not. You want to use it, even though it does drink fuel, you want to use it like as much as you can, don't yeah. you? And just take everyone in it. And your dad, who's over there, has said he's been chauffeured, chauffeured in it as well. Everywhere. You're literally. taking it to Silverstone as well? Yeah, so at the museum, it was displayed on the walkway up to the museum over the classic. There you go, really, really fair cool. enough. And um, you're back off to uni soon, but yeah. every time you, um, what, what was it you just said? Every time you come back from uni, you want to see if it's yeah. um, I've available. already said, every time I come back, I'm going to message Dave and be like, can I have a new car, please? No, I don't blame you. Fair enough. Yeah. But um, yeah, well, that's that's that's. Um, I think that's probably a good place to wrap up. We've got some pictures from Tiggy, I think, as well. So yeah. they'll have been spliced in. But yeah, so if you want to borrow a car, like this one or this one, then this exact this car. Exact thank you very much. Thank you. And um, yeah, get in contact with Starter Motor if you want to borrow something of this ilk. Fantastic. Yeah.